Hi guys, we are back down here at Prairie Sports Village with James Major, who is a teaching professional down here. Hi guys. Hey. So yeah, you might have seen on our last video that we've done some slow mos and a bit of swing analysis, but this is a continuation of that on the road to single figures. Let's get stuck in. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Right. Okay, Pete. So um, further to the last video that we filmed where we've effectively, you've just hit golf balls and we've just slowed the golf swings right down and looked at impact positions on the club face and just basically giving everyone a, a view of what your golf swings look like and in slow motion so you can see some, they, they can potentially see some of the faults that are actually happening. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do now is to, is to show you what I'm seeing as an instructor that's going on in your uh, golf swing basically. Oh great. <laughs> so at the dress position, you've got, we've noticed that with the irons, the, the hands are, are sort of uh, pull back a little bit here, they're not sort of in a positive position, a dress position. So you've got this, this slight dish here to the back of the left hand. Okay. okay. Which in itself means that the relationship between the golf grip and the club face is slightly affected by this because as it, we don't strike a golf ball in that way, we strike a golf ball effectively like this, as, as you see, in slow motion. So if that, if that golf club is back here somewhere, then the relationship between the, so the golf grip or the hands and the club face is different and striking wise that may well come back to a position that's like that with the golf club, leaving the club face in a more open position yep. so I'll talk, I'll talk you through how we should address a golf ball properly later on but we were seeing a little bit of that um, we were also seeing a situation where you were, you were quite close to the ball and from the rear side of the things the clearance between the end of your golf club and your legs was quite minimal Okay. And you're also getting a situation where, the, with the hands back here, the right arm's a little more dominant, and the shoulders, you wouldn't see this much on the camera there because the resolution is not high enough in this room, but the shoulders are in a slightly open position. Right. Moving into the golf swing then, as you take the golf club back, effectively, you're, it's almost as though you're coming around this leg. So the golf club is, is, is very, very slightly being, being fanned back and being rotated open. Okay. The spine angle is changing. And the, the, your head gets knocked across as the, as the body starts to rotate, and the right leg begins to straighten up. So we're seeing a position where the, the, goal, where the body is overturning. You're actually, your head's being twisted around by this, and your head goes beyond its normal position. Yep. The golf club goes long in itself and ends up beyond parallel at the top. The problem with that is that any golf swing that's, that's, that's long is going to be erratic. It's going to create inconsistencies within the strike because you've got such a long way to bring the golf club back into the ball that you could literally strike the golf ball well, or you could strike it really, really badly. And um, unless you're on form and your um, rhythm and uh, tempo are really, really good, you know, that makes a difference between good days and bad days. Yeah, and we saw that on the um, on the impact sticker as well, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You managed to get with a six iron, about four shots, three shots, bang on top of each other. Somehow. Yeah, the <laughs> golf club. We didn't see that at all. So we saw the whole face being used. Yeah. So that kind of shows how, you know, it can literally come and go. Uh, it's a little bit easier with the shorter golf clubs because the swing isn't, isn't, isn't naturally as long. No. But then with the driver, we get we suddenly saw this, this dispersion much, much bigger because the swing is, is long anyway with the driver and it's even longer the way you'd be swinging the golf club back. Yep. So that's kind of an overview as to what I'm seeing there within the setup to the golf ball and the first part of your swing. It's obviously not a through swing, but, that's, but the through swing is more of a reaction to the back swing. So, yeah, so let's get that we're first. See, yeah, we're going to see the things happening, which we'll discuss later on. Okay, great stuff. Let's do it. Right. Yep. So the same situation with you then. We're going to look at how, how um, we've taken those, those initial videos, slowed them down, and actually I'm going to have to explain to you now what's going on within your setup to the golf ball and your swing, your back swing. Yeah. Um, not as much going wrong with the initial setup to the ball. Um, the main thing we're seeing is it's quite straight legs. Yeah. Okay. You won't see that so much on this angle, but when you look at this, the, the video from the side, you see that your legs are almost in a straight position at, to begin with. Okay, yeah. Um, you do also have a situation where, you, with your irons particularly, again your hands are crooked back and your shoulders are in a similar position as mm -hmm. his feet, so a little bit open. Obviously, we've got a, you've got a slight different reason for that. You're having a weakness in your in your left hand. Yeah, I do. I have yeah. to, to sort yeah. of um, to do a lot of things with your right hand, and the right hand's effectively the, the guiding force in this. Yep. You would generally expect most most golfers, as a right handed golfer, to sort of to guide the golf club back almost with the left, the left hand, the left arm. Right. And then do the hitting almost in the right arm. Slightly old school that, but there's uh -huh. some truth in that, that, that. That's the way we're swinging the golf club. Um, but your tendency to guide the golf club back, I would argue, more with your right hand, with it, it being stronger. 
Um, so you're sort of starting, starting in, in, in that sort of position. But again, for reasons that I explained with Pete, we really want to have that in a more positive position to address. What's happening there within your, within your backswing is that you effectively, you're not rolling the golf club as such, you're just walking the right leg up. It's almost straight in the first place, and there's no way transfer is. Uh -huh. But perhaps you'll probably see from, if you look around this side here, what we're actually seeing as you go back is a situation where this, this, this right leg walks straight up immediately. You, pick, you then pick the golf ball up as a result of that. The, um, the right hand is doing all the leading work, so the right hand is able to bring that golf ball right the way over. And the left hand, because you be lack of a sort of grip ability, if you like, creates a new word there, but <laughs> at the top of the back swing, you're able to get that golf club to, to yeah. go right That's not far enough, James, further. <laughs> Okay. And then from there, you've got a hell of a job on to, to, to stay behind that golf ball and bring that golf ball back into delivery. Yeah. Okay. So, in other words, centre to the golf ball is key to starting a good backswing. Uh, we then have to work on that, that, those first motions of that backswing, and then hopefully we can build a chain reaction that effectively stops you going long, because everyone can see the swing's long. Mm -hmm. It's not just a question of you need to drop your swing weight. There's a reason why you're, swinging, you're able to swing the golf club that far. Yep. Either you're bow, bowing man, or <laughs> you've got you've, you've got um, your body's aligned. You know your body's yeah. There's a, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a reason it's, okay. it's going so, so far. So that's so. First thing we're going to do for both of you is look at the correct address position to the golf ball, and it's the same for every golfer. We really want to have a good solid address position. Yeah. So this will just apply to anybody who's yeah, watching this. Yeah. At this stage, we'll look at your swings a bit more individually later. That's what probably separate do two videos of two different golf swings. But the, things, the, the main thing of any golfer is having a good solid address position. And you've got a good basis, uh, means to, to start taking right. the golf club back. Okay? Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Right. right. So, looking at the setup to the golf ball um, and some of the common uh, faults you've got between you, um, it would stand to reason we need to, to address those faults before we start, start looking at the backswing. You've both got a slightly poor relationship between the positioning of your hands here and the golf club, the golf club face and your body. So in other words, you both put the hands pulled back in this sort, of, this sort of position to a degree. And the right wrist is, like, so, yeah, so is, I'm looking at you now, I'm seeing how you must see what we're seeing. Yeah. That's, yeah. So but your, your right wrist is like pushing the face towards the ball. Yeah, that's what you're Is that one of the, the faults then with the arms being, your hands being so far back? The problem, the, the problem with that position with the hands being so far back is they're not going to return to that position. Right. You wouldn't strike into a golf ball and have your hands back in, in this position here. Okay. If you look at any freeze frame impact position of, of, a, of a driver, so in particular, you'll see much more in this sort of position. You'll see the, 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 the golf swing comes back and then the, you're bracing for impact. Right. The body's literally bracing for hitting something. So that's, that's the relationship between the hands and the arms at, at, at impact. So what you're essentially doing at a dress position is trying to say, this is where I want to be impacted. I want to be like uh -huh. this. So you don't have your hands back in a scoop position, okay? So we're going to try and basically make sure you've got the ball position is good, get your ball position in position there, golf club down behind the golf ball, and your hands want to be opposite that, the inside that left thigh. And it's the same with every golf club. If I can just borrow an iron off you there. Beautiful system. Yeah, thank you. So it doesn't matter if you're playing with if you're playing with an iron, the hands want to be inside this left thigh. Okay, so it's in it with an iron that looks like the hands are forwards now, but they are in this relationship because they're going to come back to that relationship into impact. So you get the idea. Yep. You've got to have that, those hands in a position to sort of start as you mean to go on, basically. So for both of you, we're going to, we're going to improve this, this uh, relationship between the arms and the hands at address position and this, this posture position here. Right. Okay. The other thing it's also going to help you with is, is shoulder alignments. Because you both, although the camera doesn't show very well, you both have your shoulders in a slightly open position. You've got the, the, you've got the hands sort of effectively with the irons pulled back here and the shoulders are open. Okay. That's not going to help you when you come back into the golf ball with this motion here because it makes it cut across it and slice everything. That's why that's why we get sliced quite yeah. often because of our bad shot. Because, yeah. your body, because your shoulders will return back to the position which they started. And if they're already open, you know, that means open means aiming left, you're going to come across the ball to the left and yeah. start the golf ball slicing. Okay? So, so in addressing the golf ball better, we will address these issues at the, um, before you actually hit the golf ball. And then also give yourselves, not both of you, but more, more of you, Pete, a little bit more room for the golf ball. Mm. So that golf ball doesn't have to go around the, the leg, you can just move back in a simple one piece motion. Right. Okay? So you're both fortunate in, the, in that your golf grips are pretty good, you're actually holding the golf ball properly. So it's just it's trying to get the address position more, mm -hmm. more positive. Okay? Right, yep. Okay, so. Get you in the right position now.
<laughs> it's going to feel comfortable, doesn't it? It's going to feel awful, I'm sure. So this is probably how I'd normally set up. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so you come around to this side here, up there. And I'm going to get the spare golf club. Go over here, Pippi. So we're going to try and square these, these, these shoulders, which tends to tend to weigh a little bit this way. By improving the posture yeah. and the hand position, we'll get a better position than those. So if you, if you just all the golf bags in front of you, yeah. yeah. You go for it, correct. Disregard the golf ball. Don't, don't make the mistake of putting the club to the ball. Right. If the golf ball's the further forward the ball is in stance, the more that will make, if you start trying to try put the club to the ball, yeah. the more that will start to affect your shoulder alignment and the relationship of, of everything basically. Yeah. So work everything, I would work everything, encourage you to work everything towards the centre, okay? Then you basically want to sit, sit your, your bottom out and drop the golf club down to the ground, okay? Then we have the up the time a little bit here, yeah. okay? And then it just feels like you're looking, if there were a golf ball here, we're not, we're not sliding the club to the ball yet, but it feels like you're looking just, just slightly towards the back of that golf ball, so the, the back half of the ball, yeah. so your clips, you're looking at the back crescent of the golf ball, okay? okay? And then you're like peeking around the end. Tie a little bit, yeah, tie yeah. a little bit. And just, just give yourself a little bit more room for the ball. Just stand, standing back a little bit so that you can put more, more knee flex and more definition to that posture. Uh, maintain, yeah, maintain this, this, this built up position here. Okay. And then if you, sorry, if the uh, weight comes around looks for the relationship now between your... This feels terrible, by the way. Yeah. Hands and arms of your <laughs> body. You could perhaps overlay that image with a real golfer. Yeah. You mean a real golfer? <laughs> Bro. Yeah, and you'll get a better. Yeah, it looks so much better. better. Yeah, it looks okay. so much better for that me. Great. Yeah, it feels terrible. Yeah, you look like you know what you're gonna do now. Do I? Like you're yeah. smashing it miles now. Try it. Yeah. Just uh, it can. It won't pick it up on the GC2 because you haven't got any miles. Oh, here it is. Like. I'm sure that wasn't miles. Felt like miles. Miles. Yeah. First drive ever. Yeah, it does feel. It does feel strange. Yeah, we're working, so we'll, we'll work on that properly mm. and, and build on that setup so that it becomes more second nature to you. So that's where I should be. That's where you should be compared to what you're doing there. So we're going to carry on with during the, during the process of the actual, the actual lessons. I'm going to keep getting in the right position, getting in the right position. And obviously, we're going to work on that so that it becomes more second nature and not so, so, so contorted and so alien feeling. Mm. And it'll start to make sense to you then. You'll feel, yeah. You'd be surprised, you'll feel comfortable within, within those apps. And everyone make alterations to somebody in, in the golf lesson, they always think, there's no way I can do this. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is horrible, it's never going to work. And then within half an hour or so, do you know what? It's actually feeling quite comfortable now. It's very quick. So muscle memory works quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, Wayne's turn now. All right. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do for Wayne. Okay, set yourself to the golf ball, Wayne. You're probably going to do a little bit quicker with this because um, the distance of the golf ball wasn't bad before. So you, know, you can maybe see here, although you're wearing black, it's not going to define that well. But there's more of a bit of a sort of domination of, on this right side than there is on this left side. So again, similarly, we want to try and get the relationship that's more like this. So you're looking slightly more towards the back half of the golf ball. Peak at that golf and ball. Incidentally, I forgot to mention in, the, in that last little bit, bit with you, Pete, that mm. wherever the ball, wherever you position that ball, so if you move your feet to your right slightly, and you, put, you keep that golf ball sort of centrally, you, you can move, if I do it with my foot, you can move the golf club head towards the golf ball without affecting knees. Okay? All right. Yeah, you don't you don't have to move the whole thing that way. Yeah. You can just move move the golf club head towards the golf ball. So it keeps you looking at the back the back half of that ball. So your hands are set always opposite the inside of that that sort of uh, left thigh, that sort of groin area. Okay? So that's put you that's, it put you in a better position there. And again, if you want to come around here, the What does he look like from behind? Well the shoulder line. <laughs> okay. So I put, I put the golf club down there on the ground, just pull that right foot back very slightly. Okay. So we've got the, uh, the parallel line down there. I should have put the sticks down before, but uh, it's okay. You can see that the shoulders there. Can you, can you get that? Yeah. It feels like it's got a laser. Yeah, I feel like I'm yeah. holding corner. It's not. It's actually... It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty straight, line. is that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. yep. So this is the next bit now. Soften those knees a little bit. Okay. Make sure that body weight is more towards the, the balls of the feet, so we're not getting the uh, weight sitting on the heels. Right. Okay. If that means that you've got to edge back a little bit from the ball, give yourself a little bit of room, then please do so. So that's better. So you've got a bit of knee flex there. So generally, there, if you're going to bring this round, take a look. It looks like a proper golfer. I feel like a proper golfer. What a transformation! <laughs> you bring it around slowly. Just around, you just work it around slowly around there. You see the. Uh, 
It's a good, strong position. It's, it's the sort of position you'd see a little hand get rolled for in. Looking good. A day to it all. Do a swing away. Oh. There's my arm swing still. Yeah, we have a swing you on. Oh, that got miles as well. That really? did go miles. Perfect. <laughs> Look, he says looking for a goal. It's gone that far. <laughs> it's gone that far. It's out of the range. Yeah. So how did that feel? It feels so, yeah, like I say, it feels a bit uncomfortable at first. Yeah, I feel quite tilted. It feels like I'm doing what, from watching videos, it feels like I'm doing what I'm not supposed to do. It feels like I'm trying to help the ball. Yeah, obviously that's not what we want to do. We don't yeah. want to help the ball forth in the air. And this is the first time, I mean, put you on the spot again now, yeah. you know, look to the, look to the golf swings, uh, bang, this is how you put to it. And that's the first thing you said about turning it that way. It's not going to feel normal. In fact, it's no. a good thing that it feels strange because if it feels good, it's probably because you're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why it doesn't it's, feel good. Yeah. It's, the, it's, the, it's the sense that something feels awkward because it's something different, it's something new. Uh -huh. We'll and get used to it though, won't we? Physical change. Yeah, so that's something we've got to start from the hours in. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the it's, it's pro probably a true fact to say. I'm not sure the exact, exact statistic. I can say it, but 99% of all faults in the golf swing stem from setup, from bad setup. Yeah. Okay. If you address the golf ball incorrectly, then your body's just trying to find a series of compensating manoeuvres to actually get the golf club back into that ball again. Yeah, we've so done years of compensating, haven't we? Oh uh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, good. It's, it's always good housekeeping, even for a golfer who thinks, do you know what, um, I'm sure my setup's good, it's always good housekeeping to go through it and double check, mm. because mm. a bad setup to the ball is, is only going to lead to a series of, of chain reactions. Yeah. Okay, so it's good for everybody. Awesome. Good. Thank you very much, James. Okay, no problem. Keep working and see what's like next time. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> right guys, we hope you enjoyed that. A bit of uh, analysis there, a bit of stuff for us to work on. Yeah, so you know, starting positions. Yeah, so um, as you can see, it's not quite as simple as you might think. You might feel you're doing it right, but as James pointed out, it has to feel so wrong. A bit right sometimes. It does. You'll get used to it. Yeah, once we get used to it, we'll start feeling the best thing. But for now, it's going to be a little yeah. quite a while until. So, yeah, this is where we start putting the hard work. Yeah. There's hope for you both, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. just about, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. I, think so. I can believe that. <laughs> well, as long as James is confident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys, carry on uh, watching our videos on the road to single figures, uh, subscribe to find out about more stuff that we're doing or notifications about uh, our newest videos, we've got all sorts of content so just keep updated and get stuck in. Yep, thanks for watching, bye.